name is Jacob Hartley Rosser. Like most 14 year olds like games. Jacob's creative. He's got a heart of gold. He's extremely compassionate, uh, but he's tortured. Every day, there is some kind of mental torture that occurs to him. The big threat is shadow, which is the name of the OCD, the mental illness. So he was scared of DNA transferal. He got scared of amnesia. He got scared of all these strange things. But then they became obsessions. And once they became obsessions, compulsions started coming out. So all these things just started mounting, and then it spiraled and spiraled and spiraled downwards to the point where he was completely incapacitated. He couldn't leave the house. He uh, couldn't touch water. He could. I mean, it became a struggle to do just the basics of life. Well, if it's a good day, it would be like the way you see today. But if it was a bad day, I would be depressed, stressed. If he's having a bad day, it, it affects everybody. It's like a domino effect. It, it, it affects the whole family. I've known Jacob for a few years, and I've uh, very quickly realized that he's a very special young man, and he's uh, not afraid to talk about some challenges he's facing. So he's, he's going to help me learn more about mental health so we can actually step up and do something. Uh, Mr. Maloney had told me about Jacob. He thought I'd be uh, interested in meeting with him, and uh, it's been fascinating talking to him to understand uh, some of the worries that he has as uh, someone who has some uh, mental health issues. 70% of adults who have a mental illness had the first signs when they were in their teens or younger. If we can address the problem of mental illness with, the, with people uh, in that age group, we're going to make it a lot better for them when they get older. What would you like to tell other people why they should get out and help too? I'm doing uh, this because I want to give hope to others and I want kids to know that they are not alone. The best thing that we can do is talk about them. And the interesting thing is, you think of other illnesses like heart, like cancer, yeah. like diabetes. Yeah, like they're, all, they're more known about because people, people are scared because people talk about it, and yeah. the best thing to cure something is awareness. One of the things I admire about young Jacob here is he's doing something that when, when people his age, when I was his age, people were afraid to talk about their illness. He's one of the bravest young kids I've ever met in my life. I would keep up doing what you're doing because you're going to inspire other people, and they're going to take comfort. And well, there's Jacob, he's talking about it, so I can talk about it too. The more people are aware of it and the more people understand what it's all about, um, I think the better it is for those who struggle with mental health and also those who need to provide services for those people. It's like anything else, if you can address an issue early, you have a better chance of being successful in stopping it and preventing it from getting worse. With uh, Jacob, uh, what I was encouraging him to do is keep talking because uh, one of the things we don't do enough of is talk about mental illness. 